Greetings everyone, welcome to ENE Learning Hub where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for questions related to logic gates. But before I begin, I'm going to ask those of you who have not yet subscribed to the channel to do so, like the videos, share the videos, especially with those who are doing CSEC electrical. All right, so let's begin. So this is question seven from the 2012 past people. Part A, it says, figure six and seven both show logic gates. Part one of A, it says, give the name of the gate in figure six. So that gate is an under gate. Part two, it says, give the name of the gate in figure seven. So the gate in figure seven, is a R gate. All right, so that's it for part A. For part B, it says figure eight and figure nine show the electrical equivalence of two logic circuits labeled P and Q. Part one of B, it says name the logic equivalent for each figure using the labels. For the logic equivalent of P, that is a AND gate. For the logic equivalent of Q, that is a R gate. All right, so that's it for part one of B. Part two of B, it says, develop two tables for each logic equivalent circuit identified in figure six and figure seven using labels. So figure six, that's the AND gate, and this is the true table for the AND gate. So we have two inputs and we have a number of possible inputs that can be placed on the input side. So have zero and zero, zero and one, one and zero, one and one. So at no point in time, these possible inputs will be repeated. For the AND gate, the mathematical operation is multiplication. So zero times zero will give us zero. Zero times one, zero. One times zero, zero. One times one will give you one. And that's it for the AND gate. For figure seven, that's the R gate. Here's a true table for the R gate. So I have two inputs with a number of possible inputs. So we have zero and zero, zero and one, one and zero, one and one. Again, None of these inputs have been repeated. For the R gate, the mathematical operation is addition. So zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus one, one. One plus zero, one. One plus one, one. All right, so that's it for the true table for the R gate, and that's it for part two. For part three, it says, name two electronic devices that perform switching functions in logic circuits. So the two electronic devices are diode and transistor. That's it for part three of B and that's it for this question. All right, let's look at the next question. So this is question nine from the 2007 past people. It says figure four shows the symbols of four logic gates. So here's figure four. And here are the four logic gates. Part A, it says in your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, and four beside each number. Write the names of the logic gate indicated by the symbol. So at number one, this is the AND gate. Number two, this is the R gate. Three, that's the NAND gate. So what we have here is a combination of an AND gate and a NAND gate to give you NAND gate. Number four, we have NAR gate. So it's a combination of R gate and a NAND gate. All right, so that's it for part A. For part B, it says construct true tables to show the input and output states for the logic gates one, two, three, and four. All right, so in the previous question, 
I already went through the truth table for the AND gate and R gate. So I'm just going to go through the truth table for the NAND gate and the NAR gate. For the NAND gate, for the input side, here we have a number of possible inputs. So I have 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, and 1, 1, and 1. Again, none of these um, possible inputs have been repeated. For the AND gate, remember that the mathematical operation is multiplication. So when you multiply 0 and 0, you will get 0. But because the NAT gate is a part of the AND gate, which makes it a NAN gate, it's going to invert the 0, and it will become 1. So 1 and 0, 0 inverted give you 1. 1 and 0, 0 inverted give you 1. 1 and 1 give you 1. When inverted, it gives you 0. All right, so the NAND gate true table for the output side, it is the opposite of the AND gate, as you can see here, on the output side of the AND gate, 0, 0, 0, 1. On the output of the NAND gate, it is 1, 1, 1, 0. All right, so that's it for the NAND gate. For the NAR gate, for the input side, A and B, the number of possible inputs are 0 and 0, 0 and 1, 1 and 0, 1 and 1. Again, these values have not been repeated. All right, so for the R gate, the mathematical operation is addition. But remember that the NAT gate is also connected to the R gate, which makes it a NAR gate. So 0 plus 0 will give you 0. Inverted will give you 1. 0 plus 1 will give you 1. Inverted will give you 0. 1 plus 0 give you 1. Inverted give you 0. 1 plus 1 will give you 1. Inverted 0. Looking at the output side of the NAR gate, it is the opposite of the output side for the R gate. As you can see here, for the R gate, we have 0, 1, 1, 1. For the NAR gate, it is 1, 0, 0, 0. All right, so that's it for part B, and that's it for this question.